In book three, chapter 19, the final chapter of The Sun Also Rises, Mike, Bill, and Jake rent a car to leave Pamplona and go out drinking together one more time. Mike confesses he's totally out of money and has been for some time. In fact, Brett paid most of their hotel bill. They all part ways and Jake returns to Bayonne and he thinks it's good to be back in France where relationships are simpler and founded on a sound footing, the good old reliable exchange of money. But then he returns to San Sebastian, searching for solace in nature. He spends a few blissful days swimming in the sea and following the bike races, but a telegram from Brett arrives, begging him to meet her in Madrid. Racing to her as always, Jake jumps on the first available train, traveling overnight, where he finds her in her hotel room. She has broken up with Romero, who wanted her to grow her hair out and marry him. She cries, <laughs> shaking, and says she plans to return to Mike, and she can't stop talking about how young Romero was. She and Jake have lunch, where she asks Jake repeatedly not to get drunk, but he just keeps drinking. They go for a drive together in Madrid, their bodies pressed together in the taxi. Brett says she and Jake could have had such a damn good time together. Jake bitterly responds, yes, isn't it pretty to think so? Jake admits living in France is simpler because in his eyes, it's transactional. You get what you pay for. Nevertheless, he returns to Spain, which like the Fiesta offers a more primal, visceral experience of the world. In San Sebastian, he says he has recovered an hour and he swims in the ocean with my eyes open and it was green and dark. His observations of people, bathers on the beach, the beauty of the Spanish children, a romantic couple on a raft, the bicyclists who don't seem to really care about the competition, seem clear-eyed and calm. Alone in nature and detached from the competition over Brett, Jake seems at ease. But when he responds to her telegram and goes to Madrid, he consoles her, but he doesn't try to win her back. Brett wants to return to Mike, of whom she says, he's so damned nice and he's so awful. He's my sort of thing. Later, the final scene in the taxi is reminiscent of the scene at the beginning of chapter four, when Jake and Brett ride in the taxi together and Jake kisses her. In that chapter, Jake clearly pined for Brett, asking, don't you love me? Now, however, at the novel's end, he holds her, but he doesn't attempt to kiss her or ask for her love. He seems consigned to the notion of their life together now just being a fantasy to be admired.